good afternoon. I have a few more cards in this design that I have to complete. So I'll be working on some of these in a little paint and chat today. Um, I finished my botanical snowflake cards. I did the rest of my eight of these yesterday. And then I thought um, as I was painting this, I could think up some ideas for this new palette that I got from KMS the Retro Rainbow Collection. Meadow and Mimosa look like they would be really good for some chrysanthemums, which I have on the mind, of course. Flourish and Peaches and Cream look like beautiful Dahlia colors as well. So I think there are lots of pretty florals that could be made with this set. So that's one thing I'm trying to keep in mind as I'm painting. And then I've also got this Summer of 89 set. Very different colors. I don't think I've ever painted with such creamy um, pastel shades like these. So I'm open to ideas for these. I've painted with Desert Rose before. I've, I've painted a rose in that color and it's really pretty. It's a beautiful pink. I might have to swatch out what these look like and see what I could put together for those. Um, but I'm going to try to recreate this a few times and get this order done. So pretty much all of them are going to be done with this Princeton 8. Um, I think it's the perfect brush size for these almost eucalyptus style leaves. And the tip is good enough to make a cute little berry. So I'm going to start with the green that I have here. It's a metallic, beautiful green shimmer in there. I'm going to try and get them close, closely related. Not identical because I hand paint all my cards so there is a little bit of variation on purpose. But close enough that it's well balanced like that one. Melody, you're here. <laughs> How are you doing? Well, thank you, Elle. Um, I've been painting for three years now. It's a lot of practice to get where I am. So I'm gonna be using this one a lot. I'm gonna keep that up front for myself. And just starting with some leaves. The nice thing about this brush is the little plop of the brush really does give you a nice organic leaf shape. That's a nice little branch there. Hi, Frankie. Finishing up my holiday court card orders. What are you working on today? you're editing. <laughs> hmm. I was working on some lesson plans for the week earlier today, planning out my labs, and then I bought 50 rolls of receipt paper <laughs> because it's going to be a great way to model the scale of our solar system for my environmental science kids when we get to that. But I saw it and I was like, that I need to hop on that deal right now. So I spent 20 bucks on receipt paper. <laughs> A 
Frankie, uh, you're not feeling, yeah, feeling painting. You have to go out. Yeah, conserve your energy. You can always save your paintings for another day. I really love that challenge. It's very uh, low key, right? You've got plenty of time to paint. You don't have to paint if you don't want to every week. And then we've got the Traces with Palacios challenge starting tomorrow. Chrysanthemums and Pussy Willow. Thank you, IDK. <laughs> Thanks, Frankie. So I think that's it for the eucalyptus. And then I'm gonna add some little branches with that same green in between. Very loose stems filling in with berries afterwards. So Just random pieces of branch. I'm not really thinking about the berries quite yet. That'll come later. Oops. <clears throat> oh, it sounds like a very tropical weekend. <laughs> mm. I really did like that bird of paradise that I did once this summer. I didn't do more, but I should have. I guess there's always time, but I'm ready for fall and getting into winter florals. It's my favorite time. All right, so now I'm going to do the light blueberry color. That was icy and blue. A little bit too much water on my brush. These are going to be big blueberries, I guess. Frankie, you don't get into holidays much. No kids. Well, I don't. I guess my students are my kids in in a way, but I. I like looking at, you know, Martha Stewart arrangements and the decorating. I like it. Mostly Halloween. That's my favorite one. The Nightmare Before Christmas was my favorite movie for a long time. <laughs> I'll still pop it on whenever it comes on. <laughs> Thanks, Frankie. She says the, my energy is palpable, it's fun. Yes, Nightmare Before Christmas, it's a classic. And turning 30, I love that. <laughs> Okay, frostbite is my second blue, my dark blueberry. Actually, I feel like you could do a really cute retro holiday card maybe with this. Like fun um, snowflakes and like a town scene. I don't know, something like that. I feel like this could go maybe vintage ornaments. Yeah, I think ornaments would look good with those colors now that I'm thinking about holidays. <laughs> Hi, Gemma's mom. Hi, 
I could have switched out my brush for something a little bit smaller, but I really am a one brush and done kind of girl. I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, you have a vintage truck with Christmas tree on the roof the vibe from it. Yeah, definitely. All right. So here's the first version and my second, same vibe there. Um, I think I have something like five more to go. I posted two sets of cards, four cards in a set, um, two sparkly trees and two red berry wreaths on Etsy. I've got them up by request if anyone's interested in nabbing some holiday cards early. I made a lot so I wouldn't have to be painting too much during work. This one was just a special a co-worker order. And she always thinks of me, which I appreciate. <clears throat> it also means that I painted uh, three of those uh, botanical snowflakes and it just didn't live up to my original standards, so those were the rejects. <laughs> it took me a long time to get those done. gap here and a small little sprout Painting these round leaves are just so relaxing. I think I'm happy with that for my leafy areas. Want this a little bit more full. Witch of Salt Lake, thank you. I don't recognize the name. Have you been to my lives before? Oh, 
Oh, I love your makeup. I think I'd remember. <laughs> well, welcome. I'm Leia. I love painting with watercolors. Do you also like to paint? You're a watercolor beginner. Well, I hope you feel inspired to paint. I come on here almost every day at f around 4 p.m. Eastern. We've got a lot of people, beginner, intermediate, painters. I feel like we've got lots of friends here. <laughs> Oh, Frankie, don't worry about that. <laughs> I forget that you, some of you are uh, kind of new to me because I've been painting for three years. And over on Instagram, I started going live a year ago. Uh, so I'm used to kind of my regulars and my friends over there. They know me pretty well now. Gotten used to me talking. Exactly. Not Palacios paint. <laughs> yeah, so my favorite thing is loose watercolor florals. Um, yeah, Frankie, you, you are my number one fan right now. Also, I've got Jess. I've got, um, we've got... Cashmere, we've got a, a few friends. <laughs> so, um, Witch of Salt Lake, this is sort of my my loose style. This is something. Oh, hi, Emmy, another favorite fan over here. <laughs> I've definitely made a lot of great friends over on TikTok this summer. Thank you. I have some other, other florals. I've been on this fall floral kick. <laughs> Thank you, Melody. Yes, so uh, do, do my students watch you? Actually, last year when I was painting live on Instagram, um, a lot of students did find my account and they'd silently follow me. Um, and then they got a little bit more bold towards the end of the year. So in May, they'd hop on. Uh, I had a couple kids like want to know, oh, how come you're not grading my test? Even though the, the grades were in and I was painting afterwards. Um, Yes, so some of them will hop on live. I've had some students show other teachers my account, which is pretty funny. Okay, this one I'm gonna say is done. <laughs> All right, and then I normally don't paint so much of one particular painting that I've done. It's just an order of cards that I'm doing if you're a little bit late to the game. So this um, particular design, I have uh, a coworker that wants eight of these cards. So I wanna get them done for her early. And then I'll be back on the floral kick tomorrow. I think today's post on Instagram, I didn't paint live. Uh, Frankie, I don't know if you saw this that I posted earlier today, but this paper is just so yummy. Beach bug, yeah, look at that. These metallic paints from KMS, incredible, so fun, right? She's got this whole set, this was from last year's uh, advent calendar of watercolors. Uh, they were all metallics in there, super fun. And then I've got this up from yesterday's paint session. These monthly color club sampler sets. She does her beautiful mats and then her outrageously amazing metallics. So super fun. 
um, color sets that she does. I showed a little bit earlier in the video the retro rainbow set that I just got from her. Um, I'm thinking lots of dreamy florals here. So either little metallic accents to color to my flowers, something like that, or you know, just like a pretty golden center. Anyway, that's just one idea that I'm kicking around. And then I showed you these retro cool colors here. Now, Frankie, you got me thinking about like a little scene going on. I don't know. That's probably for next month when I'm thinking about holiday paintings more. Oh, I have to show you what Zena did. So Zena was quite mad today. It was um, really nice weather outside. So I was sitting out on the deck reading and Zena was in here. She knocked over my paint tray. <laughs> she, she got the end of my paintbrush, so it still works, but she was very displeased. So when I finally walked back inside, I saw this in her mouth. <laughs> um, it's a good thing I don't paint with my round six very often, but <laughs> right? It's not it's not the sun. So <laughs> Frankie, you don't have to guess, but it's just really funny. She just she wants to be a painter, you know. She wants to share my hobbies. <laughs> um Witch of Salt Lake, my my dog is a two year old German shepherd. Uh, she really just wants to be the center of attention at all times. <laughs> I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. You saw a video of a dog who paints. Yes, they paint really well. I saw that too. Um, Zena failed that test. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't have a canvas ready for her. <laughs> Not peanut butter on a paint bag. That's funny. <laughs> Next one here. All right, so this dog would go pick up a tube of acrylic and then her mom would load the brush and then the dog goes to the canvas. Yeah, and then it would actually do some brush strokes. Yeah. That's so cool. Thank you, forward progression. <laughs> I feel like that's another new name to me. tree. Fay leaf. Hi. Oh, Ashley. First time seeing you. You're also a watercolorist. Uh, what do you like to paint in watercolor? Are you also a floral painter, landscapes, houses? <laughs> Frankie, it drew a circle with its nose. I might be more talented than me. I don't think I can. I had to use the rim of a jar for that. <laughs> ah, Ashley and Frankie, you guys know each other. <laughs> I love that you're seeing each other here. You paint Alaskan flora, fauna, and fantasy. Oh, that sounds incredible. Uh, do you by chance um, know of Allison Lionart? She's responsible for me painting some really nice animals. I did that, I think, my first year painting. I would follow her tutorials, and her bear and poppy painting is one of my favorites. Oh, Ashley is Alaska-based paint maker. Oh, you make paint as well as being a painter. That's awesome. I absolutely love handmade paints. I'm using KMS watercolors right now. Um, love Boulder colors. Yeah, you might have, she does really beautiful uh, animal paintings. Um, 
I definitely have to check out your account after this. Frankie, can you DM me or tag me so I remember? I'm going to try and remember Leaf. Between the two of us, I think I'll be able to do it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I, I try to remember things like this. Like Erin yesterday, I remembered her her account name, but not her actual name. I felt so bad. She actually posted a few new hand embroidery um, templates, ideas, and one of them was some florals with some spider webs. Stunning. Uh, Ashley, you just started turning locally forged minerals into pigments. Oh, that sounds awesome. I've got the Art of Soil paints right here. These are some of my favorite paints. And I love boulder colors as well um, from Colorado. So I think all of these are plant-based and then she's got some food ones as well. But Alaska sounds awesome. Right, landscape using paint from that area. Oh, I love that. Oh, and thank you, Frankie. I've never made paint, but I've used plants over here in New Jersey to make pH indicators for my chemistry kids. And that's my day job, teaching chemistry. Okay, time for some blue. I'm gonna try and go a little bit smaller with my berries. So Ashley, how long have you been painting with uh, watercolors? I like the small berries on this one. really liking the berries in this version. I think today in the mail, I should be getting my new set of boulder colors. Um, three colors made from chrysanthemums. It was my one splurge this month on handmade colors. I think this one is done and that beautiful metallic shine <laughs> never gets old all right so i think that one will be one two three four five number five Ooh, it's actually six that's good <laughs> never can you list the one i like yesterday on Etsy. Um, oh, yes, that was the, I have it, I have it off to the side, Jess, that's what I did. Let me just confirm this is the one you had your eye on, right? With the little metallic detail on the petals. On the handmade paper, yes, I can do that for you, for sure.
you want to order it with the cards. Well, thank you. <laughs> Definitely remember your get five to get your five dollars off. And if it doesn't work with, you should have gotten the thank you for being a customer discount code in your email. Let me know. Okay. So when you put them both, if it doesn't work together, I'll do something for you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Garland, again. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had so much fun painting the same card over and over because last year when I did these cards, I was trying to do um, something like three or four after work at a time. Uh, and I would just do them silently, you know, just put on an audiobook or something and, and just complete them. But now that I have all of you chatting with me, it's going a lot faster. <laughs> it might not be as perfect here, but I'm having a good time. Sprig here. All right, I think for tomorrow's live, uh, tomorrow's Sunday, so tomorrow I'll be painting chrysanthemums with those paints made from chrysanthemums. Very excited about that. I know Amanda's going to love it. It's going to be three colors. So I was thinking maybe three potted plants or just one and kind of have all the colors blend together. I don't know, maybe chrysanthemums and dahlias and then just do a big loose bouquet. Anybody love chrysanthemums? I think they're just so perfect for fall. Zinnias, Brenda. Yes, I've painted zinnias kind of recently. I did some pink ones um, inspired by ones that I have in my garden right now. Maroon and bright orange, those are my favorites to Nature Hippie. I have yellow ones right now, and they're nice, but the maroons are my favorite. You'll try and get your friend Tony in here tomorrow. She wants to learn to paint a mom. So I've, I've got a couple different styles, right? The, there's a super loose kind of almost ball of petals, and then the, a little bit more defined version like this one. This is currently my favorite, but I don't know. I've got this bigger one, kind of where you can almost see those individual petals. I like this one, right? But then with that maroon, I, that'll be different because I've done those oranges a few times. So Nature Hippie, now that's on my mind. <laughs> Do the maroon ones. Let me get some branches in here for those berries. I'm gonna go with the small ones here. I actually thought today was Sunday when I woke up, so I already feel like I'm working with a bonus day. <laughs> Thank you. 
you know, Frankie, um, ink and watercolor would go really well too for chrysanthemums. I, I drew a bouquet for a Boulder Colors customer for um, a wedding palette. So I did the line art and then she made the paint using their flowers from their wedding bouquet. And it was the first time I drew chrysanthemums. Um, I might still have it, kind of, I think I have it somewhat available um, above my desk. Um, but I th think that would be really cool if someone's kind of a beginner, sketch it out, do a little ink and wash. That might be nice. You have to paint another chrysanthemum um, for your 30 flowers challenge, right? It's not going in alphabetical order, is it? <laughs> right, I'm gonna call this one done. Let me see if I have my zinnias and chrysanthemum handy. Jezebel, you love how airy, light, and bright your lives always feel. Thank you. Those leaves, yes. <laughs> like next Sunday, Frankie says no. Do you think they're in seasonal order? see what I have in front of me. I don't think I have my latest zinnias in front of me, but I have some from last year. Your, Ashley says, my mom is back onto our next shop. So happy to have met you. Hope to catch you again soon. Yes, I will be back pretty much every day, 4 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you again soon. On Tuesday, I know I'll be on Instagram. I'm going to be painting some pumpkins with a friend live there. So hope to see you again, and I'll be checking out your page. <laughs> Bye, Ashley. Uh, so a few old paintings that I've got. Pretty much all of the transparent petal one, Jezebel. I just love those colors. The bleeds came out really nice on this one. Got just some different loose florals, kind of similar color palettes in this section. Love how the ink turned out on this one. I think one of my favorite ink and watercolor pieces. Uh, transparent petal or x ray, yeah, I, th I think either will get you there. Mm -hmm. You have to have a lot of patience for that style. Uh, a little ink here, just for leaves this time. This uh, this particular one, Jess. It's a really beautiful color palette, so very rich here. Um, these are paints, the one before. This one, of my, my favorite one. <laughs> you can always spot my favorites, Jess. <laughs> Yeah, this color combo is called uh, Vanilla and Jam. So it's the one before. <laughs> Am I still messing up this guy? 
I really like those eucalyptus leaves in this one. I haven't gone through that many. <laughs> you want this one? How about I list them, you can compare and decide then, okay? <laughs> I'll put this one next to you. your, it's the purple. Is that what it is, Jess? You like my purple flowers? Put that one up there. It just gets uh, first claim on anything, right? Um, poisonous palettes. I saw a really cute doodle, um, little glass vials and things for Halloween decor. And I was thinking of putting uh, these poisonous plant, plant colors in there. So how much? Uh, something like this would be $20 including shipping. Um, I I don't have the size on hand, right? I think it's like five by seven for for all of these. Um, and then 25s are the larger ones that I've got, handmade paper, the special, uh, special ones like this. You can see the size difference there. If you want custom florals done for you in my style, that's about 25 or more depending on the paper that you want and how, how detailed you want me to get, that sort of thing. So I do take on commissions once in a while. Another ink and watercolor combination here. This one even has some metallic details on those this is another one of my favorites. You can see I'm in like my purple zone here. Um, hey, Frankie, I know you saw this one before, the clematis that you were talking about. Um, another purple one with ink. I feel like I definitely at some point color coded these, right? Purples. <laughs> Where are my blues? There we go. There we go. Definitely some fall vibes with that one. The purple face. Yes, I, I didn't paint them all at the same time. I went back and forth, but definitely some of my favorite colors are purples and blues. <laughs> oh, you have to break for some blue. This is one of my favorite paintings using bolder colors. I can show you the palette. I know exactly where I got my colors for this from right here. There we go. That light blue and berry combo is very pretty. Yes, roses, right? One of my favorites to paint. <laughs> and this rose you ordered a couple palettes from them. Awesome, I hope you love them. Her colors are really special. Uh, I don't have all of them. I, I have, I think, six paintings right now. There's just so many for listing purposes. So this is sort of what I, I do once in a while. If you spot something you really like, Jezebel, you kind of just shout it out to me and then I'll list it for you. Just because, look at, look at this, I still have so many more. Um, the first time I set up my shop, I, <laughs> I, um, I put up a lot and I wasn't selling anything and then they just went away. Um, and also, let's go back to that. Yes, Jess. Um, every time you paint with them, you're learning something. And it might be ugly to you in your, in your moments because I've done that too. Um, no, Frankie, she's talking about her own work, I think, right? That you don't like? Yeah. Um, I've painted things that I think are ugly. You can, you can paint over it. I've used Magic Eraser. Look at this. A little bit of Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. And I'll, I'll pick some stuff up. And always go back the next day. So don't throw out your paintings. Take some time, revisit, and find something you like. That's my advice. I do that to myself too, you know.
try and practice that. We could change it up later, but I'll sit with it, I think. Um, it's all practice, right? You're always learning from it. And this is what I'm talking about, winter florals. I'm very excited by them. Some inked dahlias. It is, you're right, Frankie, uh, a self-love thing. If one of your friends says something bad about themselves, right, you wouldn't say that to someone else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't talk about my friend like that. Yes, yes, I got you now. Oh, snowberries. Um, this, I don't know if you could see the little metallic detail on that, the pink. I had a lot of fun. Um, I don't normally sit down and ink something before I paint it, but this one I was very intentional with. I think this was another challenge painting for snowberries. So yeah, this, I love this one. I like how it could be used in different ways, right? Just like that, it almost looks like a card. You can write a little message there. Um, I guess it could go this way too, but I know I painted it in this way. <laughs> yes, that, that transition ombre effect, I love that. Uh, my pine era, we'll call that my pine era. <laughs> Metallic pinks, yes. You could tell that I painted these probably right back and forth back-to-back -back paint sessions very similar vibe but i haven't added ink like this in a while it's been a while since i did that i almost wanted to do a card like this it took me forever to do this particular one i have to look into getting prints for cards done because i would out of these two i would make them holiday cards, but it just takes so long for me to hand do them all. There's just something special about the metallic paint. I don't know. I feel like getting a print of this it takes, it takes away from some of that magic. I really like this one and this one. Oops. Sorry. Here's some other. Two cards out of that, Jezebel. Yeah. Mm hmm. I could see that. You could. You could get two out of that. These are just some other fall florals. Really like this color palette. This one, Jezebel. Have you found the one? <laughs> this one? I will list that for you. Jess, I got your purple flowers, and I will list that. But if, if you find something else that you'd like instead, let me know. I have a couple left. This one's yellow. Ah, I do like this one. Um, this one. It's so tricky to get this color shift on camera, but this is Karma from KMS. There, I think you can see that flash of color there. It looks so cool in person when it's right in front of you. It's a beautiful purple to orange shift. You can see it, cool. So these are all the same size there. And then I've got just a couple more that are more elaborate. Uh, this one, I love this rose. I painted this for Valentine's Day last year. Mm-hmm, the gilded edges on that. Hop in. You like this one? <laughs> this, this is one of my favorite rose paintings ever. I know that this is Cherry Pie from KMS. It's a gorgeous pink, perfect rose color, in my opinion. Um, this one I painted recently. I don't know why that's right there. You've seen me paint these. I did this one live with you guys. This is still the only one that I've painted and inked live. I usually don't show you the inking process. That was fun to do. Another semi-recent one here. The um, Jezebel, this guy. Is yellow your favorite? Or yellow-orange, this is a slightly more orange. I can put that aside. 
Yes, will do. How do you like the yellow rose? <laughs> this was actually requested. I had someone say, could I paint a yellow rose? So I went out and did that and they loved it. And I do too. Um, I keep forgetting how happy yellow is, right? I don't know why. I don't paint enough yellow flowers. Um, sneezeweed. I'll never forget that plant. I never knew sneezeweed was a plant out there, and it is just the cutest thing. I'm sure it does make you sneeze, but it's still really cute. I like how the leaves turned out on this one. This one was using bolder colors. I actually painted this while my students were painting in my watercolor club. They wanted to watch me paint. And so I said, sure, give me five minutes. And I painted this with some bolder colors that they were working with. Um, so extremely loose. Um, and, and yet some of them are just still some of my favorite flowers. <laughs> And then we've got some watercolor inks. I promised once school started up again that I'd get back into watercolor inks and, and do a little bit more floral work with them because I can do it so fast. So you'll see more of how I did these sorts of flowers coming up soon. Frankie, you like watercolor inks? Have you done some work with them before? I like how this, this one came out. Some blue and... Um, don't remember what it's called. I think it's just magenta. You want to try them. Very addicting. Jezebel, you want to try watercolor inks? I can, yeah, give me like a, a week and I'll start getting into it. It's a little bit crazy and unpredictable and sometimes the flowers explode. Oh no, you like it. <laughs> the, it's the yellow, right? I got you. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, very vibrant, right? You, you, yeah. I'll do some yellow ones for you, though. I'll do some like yellow and pink. I will for sure do more of that. I think those are some of the most watched on my, on my channel here in TikTok. It's the the watercolor ink ones. Everyone loves to see that happen. Exactly. The flowers explode. Um, that's another um, painting with that same color shift. Some of, yeah, some of the watercolor inks, like this one, I don't really love how this one turned out. I like the leaves though, so I keep it around. But it's very hard to get control of where that watercolor ink goes. It's rough. <laughs> um, this is that watercolor ink as well. Um, started to get a feel for how to move it around. You have no art walls, so this will be the first. Oh, that's awesome, Jezebel. Thank you. Another watercolor ink one. Okay, let's see. Just go through this bunch really quick. A whole mix of stuff in here. Ah, this is upside down. I remember painting it like that. <laughs> More watercolor inks on that one. And watercolor inks here. And here. And here. And then, Jezebel, we finished with that x-ray um, painting. Yes. <laughs> Frankie, I'm so glad you liked the show and tell because, um, I feel like most of you are just here for watching me paint and then I show off my artwork and, and we have great talks and, um, I guess it's time, it's easier for me to read and, um, chat with you when I do a show and tell versus when I'm trying to paint. Uh, you can see, and can I see the first purples that were see-through? Yeah. Um, I know exactly where that one is. It must be right here. So this is much smaller than the paper that the lily is on, but that one took a long time for that one to paint, but that's a pretty one. So we've got that one. And then you have your two yellow ones that you liked. It's got the metallics and ink. There was a bigger one too. Mm, a bigger, there was a bigger too. I think that was the only one that was the see-through petal one. 
This is just the lily that's bigger. Frankie, did you see the baobab flower I posted yesterday? I don't think I caught that one. What came after the first one? So after that one, uh, we were in this section. So this was kind of where we had the, the ink. I don't think there was another x-ray or petal on. We were in here. I'm about out for today for my my stacks of show and tell and painting. I'm tired of my my wreaths. I don't want to paint when I'm tired. I'll make mistakes, so put that off to the side. I think I painted all I needed to for that as well, so that's nice. I am on Instagram, same um, handle, Palacios.paints. There I mostly have stills of all my paint, all my paintings going back three years. Um, and sometimes I do some royals. Maybe later, can you show me some? Yeah, Jezebel, you can kind of scroll through that Instagram page, that might be easier. Um, almost all of those paintings are available, just a few of them uh, have been sold. So that might, that might be worthwhile, because I don't have everything here on TikTok. I just started this account a couple months ago. And thank you, Jezebel. And Frankie, you have to go out soon. Well, I hope, I hope you feel good and you don't stress yourself out too much. You know, take it easy and maybe do a little sketching and drawing. Be creative later if you can. You got a headache? Oh. Well, I'll be thinking of you. We'll send you some healing wishes, okay? Jess, I'll get on your listing over here. We've got two for Jess that she's thinking about. Definitely, if you're still here, let me know about that code. Uh, you did one single flower tangle and was like, okay, done, Frankie. <laughs> yeah, let me know about the, the take five, five as a number five. And if it doesn't work with my code off, um, I'll fix it on my end for you. And Jezebel, I'll list these for you too. Um, anything else that you're interested in and you can choose between all that. I am gonna be off now thinking of you Frankie you might get this niece flower <laughs> I mean I I must say it is adorable I'll list that one too so you can compare and, and think about it I'll just pull it out now so I I don't forget Where's my sneeze weed? <laughs> thank you yes uh, I'll be doing new designs for fall next weekend. They still look good. <laughs> Thanks, Erin. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. See you guys soon. Bye.